Hey guys, it's Chris with Highline Guitars and it's time for another Luthier's Quick Tips. Today I'm going to be uh, offering some tips on using Centurion's 1800 series water-based 2K polyurethane. This is a product that I have started using recently to clear coat my guitars. And I really like this product because, well, first of all, it's available in matte, uh, a satin semi-gloss and a gloss sheen. So all the sheens are covered and it cures very quickly. Typically after your last coat, you can go to level sanding within about three hours and then take it to the buffer within about six hours and then you're done. You don't have to wait days or even weeks for the product to fully cure. Furthermore, once it has cured, it's extremely hard and very scratch resistant. Maybe not as scratch resistant as say a UV cured polyester, but it's pretty darn close. And it's much more scratch resistant than your typical one part polyurethanes or your nitrocellulose lacquers. So uh, those are the reasons why I like to use it. And I have already had the opportunity to spray multiple guitars with the product. And in doing so, I've come up with some tips that I'm going to share with you for using this product. When I spray a guitar, I typically will clear coat it with about 12 coats. This gives me the depth I want. It also will allow me to build up a thickness, a film thickness that's sufficient to prevent me from sanding through to my underlying color, whether it's stain, dye, or paint, as I'm level sanding. It's sort of a good protective layer. However, when you spray this product, I've found it's best to wait two to three hours between coats. Theoretically, because it dries so fast, you could be spraying each coat every 20 to 30 minutes, but I found that when you do that, you run the risk of some clarity issues. However, if you give it that two to three hours, it's crystal clear. That means you're probably going to spray three coats in a day. So you would spray one in the morning, one midday, and then one later on in the day. Then you would let it sit overnight, come back the next day and continue. And you do this for about four days until you've built up that 12 coats. Well, when you're spraying, one of the uh, suggestions that a lot of manufacturers will offer is that you should sand between coats to abrade the surface so that the next coat will bond better. And this is especially true with polyurethanes because unlike nitrocellulose lacquer, each coat does not melt into the previous coat. So they just sit on top of each other. And in theory, again, there's that possibility that there could be some adhesion issues if you don't abrade the surface. Well, I found that when you're spraying every two to three hours, that isn't really necessary. If you spray a coat in the morning and then another one at midday, you don't have to worry about abrading the surface. So that saves some time. However, after you've sprayed that last coat at the end of the day, if you let the guitar sit overnight and then prepare to spray the next day, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and just lightly abrade the surface. And what I use is one of those synthetic scuff pads to rub down the surface just to give it enough abrasion so that the uh, next coats will bond down nicely to the surface. And specifically, I'm using a Norton double lot synthetic scrubbing pad. And I'll just lightly uh, abrade the surface and then proceed on with spraying my next three coats. Now, another thing that's really important to understand is, as I said, this is a 2K polyurethane. It's a water-based 2K polyurethane. But to use it, you have to mix a catalyst in with the main polyurethane component. And you'll do this in a separate container and then pour that into your spray gun. Ideally, what you want to do is mix up just enough to apply those three coats because there is a pot life to be concerned about. Uh, as soon as you add that catalyst, it will start to dry or to cure 
even in the container, but because of the volume, it's gonna you know, take quite a bit of time, at least six to eight hours before it becomes too thick to work with. But what you can do is you can mix that up just enough to um, spray your three coats and then put that into your spray gun and then spray. Now, you're gonna need to, to clean your gun after each coat because this stuff will cake up around the nozzle and the needle and that can cause issues with getting your spray gun to work properly and you can also blow chunks of dried finish onto the surface of your guitar as you're spraying it and that can ruin a clear coat. The thing that you need to really keep in mind when using this product and mixing the two components is Centurion recommends anywhere from 10% to 20% catalyst into the volume of polyurethane. The more you mix in, the faster it's gonna cure and the harder it's gonna cure. And while that seems desirable, the problem is the pot life is gonna to be too short to spray your three coats during the day. You'll probably get the first two coats down with no problem, but by the time you get to later in the day towards the evening when you're ready to spray your third coat, that pot life will have been exceeded and it's gonna to be too thick to spray. So what I do is I'm building up my coats from coats one to 10, is I mix 10% catalyst into the polyurethane. That gives me a fast cure and a hard finish, but it's a longer uh, pot life so I can get through a full day of spraying without having to dump out something that's gotten too thick to spray and then mix up a new batch. So I would recommend for that first 10 coats to do the 10% catalyst. Then for your last two coats, what I recommend doing is starting first thing in the day, mix it up with 20% catalyst and spray two good coats to finish it off. Then you would let the guitar sit for roughly two to three hours, probably closer to three hours. At that point, you can then start to level sand. I recommend that you start level sanding after three hours because the finish hasn't fully cured. So it's gonna be a little bit softer and it's gonna be much easier to level sand after three hours. If you wait longer, say six or more hours or you know, let it sit overnight, the surface will have cured to the point where it's so hard that it's very difficult to level sand it. I mean, it's still possible, but you do have to put in a lot of elbow grease to get that surface level, especially with your initial grits. So you wanna to try to plan those last two coats that you get those done early, can let it sit for a few hours, then come back in with like a P600 grit and start level sanding the surface. Then you could work up to P800 and then P1000. After that, you can call it a day and let the guitar sit for you know days on end before you continue on to finish out your, your polish sanding from roughly P1200 all the way up to say P3000 before taking it to the buffer. But just trying to attack that level sanding, you know, within a few hours after that last coat will definitely make it a lot easier to spray and to use the product. Now, one thing I should mention about this water-based 2K polyurethane even though it's a water-based product, the catalyst that you mix in contains isocyanates, and isocyanates are toxic. They are a lung, skin, and eye irritant, so you have to wear the right kind of PPE to protect yourself, especially from long-term exposure. Now, do I wear all the correct PPE? Sort of. Uh, I am wearing a respirator, and I usually will cover up all my skin and wear eye protection when I'm spraying it. I also have a portable spray booth that has a filter and is connected to a powerful turbine that sucks all the air out of it and pumps it out of my shop. This still, however, isn't the ideal solution. Uh, what I should be using is a fresh air supplied respirator. However, at the moment I don't have one, but I'm not spraying enough to really be too terribly concerned about that. Uh, however, I do plan down the road to look at replacing this respirator with a fresh air respirator to better protect myself. The reason I haven't done that yet is because water-based uh, finishing products 
are really the forefront of finishing technology. There's a tremendous amount of research and development that's happening in that arena. And I know for a fact that there are uh, Finnish manufacturers out there who are looking at making catalysts which don't contain isocyanates. So I'm kind of hoping that that technology is going to advance more rapidly and we're going to start to see 2K polyurethanes that use a catalyst that doesn't contain the isocyanates. So we'll just have to see where that leads. So uh, hopefully it's going to be sooner rather than later. But if it's looking like it's not going to happen for a while, I'm going to go ahead and invest in a fresh air supplied respirator. I'm sure that as I continue to use this product, I'll think up some new tips and tricks for ways that you can use it. And once I do that, I'll post up additional videos and share those ideas with you. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.